um, 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 emulate the taste of like, like non chicken nuggets. So these nuggets are made from chicken, but they're made to emulate the taste of non chicken nuggets. Dope. Oh, that's much better. Edit all the blather out of your videos because my time is very precious. Oh, that's fire. Make it less teal and more cerulean. Sure. <laughs> Replace your background with something more fun? The cold void of outer space. Let's boost that sound quality. Emulate the taste of non-chicken nuggets. Emulate the taste of non-chicken nuggets. Dope. It needs more style. It needs more clips, more gifts, more more. Well, I might have made it too gnarly. Hello, everybody. Welcome to How to Make Social Clips with Descript. You are here with your community team members. I'm Christiana. This is Ariel. Ariel, hey. how are you doing? I'm swell. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. I'm so excited to be talking social clips with you today. Um, it's our passion. We love this stuff so much. <laughs> we think about it when we wake up as we're going to sleep. What are we going to clip today? We're clipping, we're clipping lots today, folks. And more importantly, we're going to show you how to clip your content um, with the power of Descript. We're also going to talk a little bit about why this matters. Ariel is a podcaster, a creator. So we're going to be asking her sort of her thoughts um, on like the strategy behind clips, why they matter, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm, we're going to dive right in. I'm going to share some slides so you know what to expect. Um, but... Oh, her money said you two are a That's delight. That's really nice. You're a delight, her money. We love you. Um, her money, her money. I don't know why I want to like, <laughs> repeat that. No, um, it feels right. <laughs> but um, let us know where you're tuning in from in the chat. Also, let us know where you are in sort of your content journey. Are you a podcaster? Are you a video creator? Um, what are you making with Descript? Let us know. Link us, please. Yeah, we want to see your stuff. Um, okay, turning this on here. Cool. Okay, so of course, here we are. How to make social clips with the script. This is what we are going to cover today. This is our agenda. Um, so we're going to talk about, just said this, but what are clips? Why do they matter? Um, and pick Ariel's brain a little bit about the best way to go about this. We will do a quick Descript overview. So if you're new here, you've never seen Descript before, we'll give you like let's say a, a baby tour. Um, but if you really want the basics um, and, and you're looking for a sort of 101 situation, we have Descript for Beginners happening in two weeks, right? Yes. And that'll be yes. like a really, really, even like we have our Descript 101, but this is even more elementary than that. This is like, you are totally new. You want from the start, what is Descript? That's the way to go. That's going to be Descript cool. for Beginners. So if you are at any point during this session, this is a little too advanced for me, hit pause, go sign up for that event, go watch a 101. Um, but again, this is recorded, so you can come back anytime. Um, but the, ch the, the let's say, the lion's share of this event will be about clip creation. So we'll show you how to do that with Descript. Um, there's a few different ways to do it, but it's, it's very quick, four steps. We'll show you how to get that done. Um, we'll talk about speeding up your workflow with AI and also applying templates. And then of course, Q and A at the end to answer all your burning clip questions. Um, your reminders to make sure you have a great Descript event experience. So we're streaming to YouTube right now. Use the chat for chatting, of course, um, and also asking questions. The amazing Marcelo is in the chat today, as usual. Um, Marcelo is on the support team. He's the support team manager and knows everything about Descript. That's your guy for asking your questions as we go here. So throw those in there. Um, for specific questions, we host office hours in our Discord. Um, we'll put up a link for you to join the Discord in just a sec here. Um, but also submit a ticket to Marcelo and his team. They are for your friendly neighborhood support peeps and they are happy to help. Um, if you're watching and we freeze, refresh your browser that normally does the trick. Um, and this session is in fact recorded. All of Descript events are recorded and they live for eternity um, on our YouTube page. Um, but right after this, we'll also send out an email 
with a convenient link to this recording. So it's, it'll be right there for you. Um, if you need more help, help.descript.com is your best friend. That's our help center. Uh, I'm there every day. I highly recommend going there and searching things um, before you submit a ticket or just to see if you can if you can figure it out. Um, but again, if you if you do need more help, also at help.descript.com, you can submit a ticket and chat with our support team. And last but not least, yes, join our Discord. There are 18,000 folks, creators, podcasters, people that make content at work in our Descript community. Um, it's so fun in there. People are helping each other, sharing what they've made with Descript. Highly recommend folks check that out. And then last order of business here, um, we're going to be showing you some features today that are on the Descript Pro plan, and we want everybody to be able to use those features. So if you are new, brand new to Descript, or you're on the free plan right now, um, grab yourself a free month of Descript Pro. It's code April Clips. Uh, you type that in when you're checking out, or um, you can click the link and it'll, or follow that link and it'll take you out there. But again, this will be in the follow up email. So don't feel like you have to scramble um, because it'll be safe and snug in your inbox in just a little bit. Um, but yeah, we just want to make sure everybody has a chance to use what we're talking about today. So that was my little housekeeping spiel. Um, I think we're just about ready to sort of jump in. Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. We're talking social clips today. Um, and so before we jump into the actual demo, Ariel, what place us in the context of what social clips mean for a podcaster, or video creator, or even like a marketer who needs to make them? Like why, why does this matter? Why are we talking about this? Yeah, it's a great question. I think where social clips falls into the creative process is, especially if you are a podcaster or you're making longer form video content, we want to be able to clip shorter pieces of that content in order to post on social media so that we might entice people to check out our YouTube channel or mm -hmm. our podcast or to go to our website or to check out a webinar that we're going to be doing in the future or to maybe look at a webinar that we did in the past. Our goal today is to tell you about how to do this within Descript, but also to think about what makes a good social clip, why you would want to clip something uh, from the beginning of a session, maybe the middle of a session, maybe the end of a session. Yep. Maybe your social clips should sometimes be 30 seconds long. Sometimes they should be two minutes long. Sometimes you should play around with font and color and things like that. And then other times maybe you want to throw in some B-roll. So we're going to talk about how to do that within Descript. Um, and we'll also talk about what to expect when you post a social clip. So, you know, yeah. a lot of times when I when I talk about social clips, I'm referring to what we call videograms and audiograms. Videograms are when you have a video and maybe you also throw some captions on there and you're just creating like a little, it, it's a gram, you know, like a little bit of, of this thing. It's, yep. it's something that you can share so that hopefully people see it and they're like, I got to know more about this person. And hopefully you have a link available and you can click on it and check it out. And if it's an audiogram, then it's something that was audio only that you cannot see, but now we're making there be some sort of visual element, whether that's by adding captions that move or pictures or a waveform or a few other elements that we'll show you how to do. But I'd love cool. to know from the folks who are here now, I know our chat is really pop it off. What do people know about audiograms, videograms, social clips? I know a lot of people in the podcast world, especially nowadays are like, oh, I feel like I need to be making video for my podcast. And I'm here to tell you that even if you don't want to record video, even if you don't want to deal with all that, you can still create video elements of your podcast without recording video. And you can do that yeah. by creating audiograms. So that's kind of our shortcut for today that we're going to talk about. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. That is a great point. And I'm excited to show everybody that today. Someone already said, I'm, I'm wanting to know more about audiogram. Can so do. yes, even if you are an audio only creator, as Ariel just said, you're going to leave today with a new trick up your sleeve. So what an interesting turn of phrase. I, I, I'm actually, I love to hear you talk because what comes out of your brain is great. You have a <laughs> lot of really fun phrases. <laughs> you know what? That means a lot. It's good. I mean, I think that's the spice of life. 
spice of life there's another one <laughs> the spice of life um hermione actually just wrote a really good question i'm worried that our audiograms will look like everyone else's how do we make them unique we're going to show you how to customize oh. your audiograms today. oh the customization <laughs> oh it's the possibilities are endless so we'll jump we'll jump into that um and yeah okay i say I'm gonna pass it over to you. Let's dive into this demo. Um, and as we said, folks, the amazing Marcelo, and I'm seeing a few other members of our support team, shout out Joachim, um, are in the chat. So throw your questions in there. We'll also save some for Q&A. So, but without further ado, Ariel, let's, let's dive into the demo. Awesome. So I will share my screen in a moment. Just a reminder, Christiana said this a few moments ago. This is not Descript 101. This is not Descript for beginners. This is using a specific capability within Descript to create audiograms and videograms and social clips that you may post on social media. So if this seems like it is too advanced for you, uh, Marcelo and the, the folks in the chat are going to put a link now for our one of our past Descript 101 sessions. So if you're yeah. like, I really have no idea what she's doing, you'll be able to find that out. All right, cool. let's do it. I'm going to share my screen. Sweet. Okay. Tell me if you can see this. Yep. And I will try to zoom in as best as I can. Uh, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, that's great. Up close <laughs> and personal. Let me X out some of these things over here. Um, okay, so we are currently on the web browser for Descript, um, which just as of this week, I believe that we can record in beta. Is that right? I believe that's right. Well, a good a good note is that Descript for web in general is in beta right now. Um, so under the umbrella of all the features in there, I yes. would say, yes, yeah. It I is. tested it a little bit today and um, we're gonna show what that's like. But what I've done here today is we are currently in my in my, in my my dashboard and you can see that I've got, you know, I've got my Ariel's Drive workspace, which if I zoom out a little bit, you can see all of the things that I work on, but I created this clips folder specifically for today so that we can play around with some clips um, that I've pre-recorded that we can, grab some things from and make into social posts. But cool. like I said, it's not Descript 101, but of course, just as I go through things, I'll probably be explaining as I go. Feel free to stop me, ask me questions throughout. We will also have time dedicated at the end for questions. And I believe we're even gonna, even gonna have Marcelo on with us later in the hour to answer some of the more technical questions. And then fun fact, we are also doing a remote, remote recording office hours later today in our Discord. So lots of opportunities to get your questions answered if you don't have them now. We also um, would love for you, if you have your computer open, if you wanna try these things as we go, that's always a really fun thing to do. I'll try to explain as best as I can as we go. So uh, as you can see here, I've got three audio only recordings and then I have two video recordings. The reason for that is because I am a podcaster first who for a while believed that I did not have to, um, I did not have to uh, record video, but I also come from Squadcast, which is a remote recording platform that was acquired by Descript just a few months ago. Now you can record in studio quality remotely with guests from anywhere around the world for free with your Descript um, subscription. So that is a really cool thing that you can do. And um, because of that, I have always been recording video along with my audio. I've just really not been doing much with the video, but today we're going to do a bunch with audio. And then we're also going to play with some video so that we can make audiograms and videograms just to address something that I see in the chat. Is it Descript or Descript? Both. So that we have this conversation. That's what I always say. How do you follow on that, Christiana? I change every time I say it. As the wind yep. blows. Yep. It's just depends on what I'm feeling. I also want to highlight this question really quick. Let's do it. Uh, Interrupt yellow... me constantly. I love it. <laughs> yellow Birdie said, can I try this through the app or does it have to be in the web browser? You can absolutely do this in the Descript app. That's mainly what I use still. Um, so both work. They're basically like feature for feature at the same point now. We just added recording. That was a big difference. But yeah, if, if you're comfortable in the app and you're, you're, you can do everything in the app. The uh, only reason I'm on the web browser right now is because I want to be able to share sound. And yeah. there are some limitations with the streaming service that we're using right now to be live. So that is why I am on the web browser. 
Cool. Okay. But other than let's that, we should it. be good to go. All right. So let's first go into this session that I have here called Trailer Park Podcast Rooked episode. So this is actually an episode that is yet to be live. Um, so it's actually going to be pretty raw audio. And I'm going to set some things up so that you can see it a little bit, bit, a little bit better right now. But basically what I'm showing you here right now is the raw recording of my co-host Tim Viegas as he has recorded this episode that I need to still do some edits for. So let's listen to a little bit of it so that you get a sense of what we're going to cut. I'm actually not hearing that. I bet I have to undo my headphones. Let's try that now. No. no. Hmm. Could I be the only one? Let us know if you can hear that in the chat. You might just need to um, unshare and then reshare with audio. Yeah, let's try that. Hi, everyone. Should I let's try that again. <laughs> I'll vamp. Well, I'll do a little... I'll just stare at the camera, smizing. <laughs> How's cool. about okay. now? Um, hold on. Podcast. On yep. this show, we're all about podcast trailers. You can hear it? Short audio teasers. The bits of audio that get you excited about the rest of the audio to come. Okay. We've been we making this show to... for a while now, and we have featured... Just wanted to give you a sense of what that podcast is about. Glad you can hear it. <laughs> cool. Um, so this is Descript. This is... The, this is the transcript of Tim's recording of T Trailer Park, the podcast trailer podcast. It's a podcast about podcast trailers, and he is doing the intro for this right now, for this episode. So what I'm doing as I'm going through this episode is I'm thinking, what are some things that are going to be clippable so that if I post them on social media, people are going to maybe press play on those videos or those uh, videograms or those audiograms, and they're going to think, you know what? I love this so much. I have to know more about this episode. I have to find this podcast. I'm going to click on her profile. I'm going to click on her link tree. I'm going to go and find the rest of that episode. So as I'm going through this, I want you to be thinking to yourselves, like, what is enticing to you as a potential listener of this podcast? Yep. If it's me and, and I am the person who is determining that, I am thinking about, you know, I'm probably not going to clip this intro piece right here because that's just the intro to my podcast. That doesn't sound super interesting to me, but no. I, when I wrote the script for this episode, I purposely wrote a pretty booming first sentence that I would love to play for you now. Hi, my name is Tim Viegas and I hate long podcast trailers, but today I'm breaking my own rules to hit play on a trailer that despite its length is totally captivating. So Ooh, if I hear I'm this, intrigued. right? If I hear this, I'm thinking to myself, um, whoa, I have to know why he hates long podcast trailers. I have to know why the trailer that he picked today was worth breaking this rule for. So I think I'm going to clip that. And I would love to know if you agree with that, Christiana. Completely agree. Yeah. That's a very, um, cause yeah, it's like almost, not controversial, but I'm like, oh, even though this is someone I don't know, if I'm scrolling on TikTok and I'm like, someone's breaking their own rules, I'm interested, frankly. Right. Yeah, exactly. I like it. So as we know, this is audio only. How do we make this a little bit more intriguing? If you were to say, be scrolling on TikTok or be scrolling on Instagram Reels or on LinkedIn or whatever it is, so that it's not just a piece of audio. You know, how do we, yep. how do we make there be a visual component to it? We're going to make an audiogram out of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just highlight it here. And within Descript, all I need to do is copy it. So I have a Mac, so I'm just going to hit Command C. And then I come up to the top over here on my screen. And I want to make sure to enable multiple compositions. That allows me to create a new composition, which is mm -hmm. essentially a new project within my project folder. And then I can just paste. I can uh, Command V that. And then I want to make sure to name this because I love uh, file conventions and naming. So I'm going to name this Trailer Park Cold Open Audiogram. Great. So we know that it's short. You can see here it's only 14 seconds long. And you're going to see all sorts of different conventional wisdom throughout the audiogram, videogram, social clips space. Some people yep. are going to say it has to be X amount of time. Some people are going to say it has to have 
these elements. I am here to tell you that it doesn't have to be X amount of time. It doesn't have to have X, Y, and Z elements. It just has to be entertaining and grabby. And we already did the test. It was entertaining and grabby. And now we're going to make it a little bit more entertaining and grabby. And in order to do that, we're going to do what Demetrius says over here. We're going to add an image and some text. And we're going to do that all within Descript. All right. Cool. Let's do it. So if I want to turn this into an audiogram, what I have to do is come up to the top of my screen over here. I'm going to hit templates. And you see, I've got these already existing templates for one of my other podcasts that I'll show you a little bit later. But I'm going to show you how to do it from the start right within Descript. So I'm going to go to gallery and I am going to click on this um, box over here that says audiograms. And then I've got a few to choose from. These are existing templates within Descript that I can choose and I can either use as is or I can totally customize them. We had a question before from Her Money. Um, how do we make sure that the audiograms don't look like everybody else's audiograms? If you were to click this and it were to take Tim's voice and put it into this um, into this style, it would look just like every other Descript audiogram that is ever created, and that is probably not super interesting. So we want to we want to make it a little bit more interesting, right? We want to add some elements. We want to take away some colors, add some different branding, and get started with that. Christiana, any questions I should address before I move on? I think you're good. Um, I think one thing I just want to hit on, um, somebody asked Sean Wilson piano said, couldn't you highlight and duplicate to a new composition as a I faster method? Could. And yeah, I just want to call out, there's like three different ways that you could do this. You can do, yeah, if it's just like something quick, copy and paste like Ariel did, you could go, there's a, there's a bunch of different ways. I'll throw, um, a help center article in the chat that covers a few different ones. Um, but yeah, we'll show a few different ways to do it, but just, just want to flag if you're doing this a different way and it's working, that doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. There's just right. a few different ways to get this yeah, done. Yeah. I think that's the cool thing about Descript is that you really, you know, you can make your own way. Yep. And um, I also want to call out that um, her money asked a question a moment ago about the length of audiograms, videograms, social clips that we make for social media. Um, her money said something like, you know, I heard that TikTok should be longer. And I would just remove the word should from your vocabulary. I don't think that there is any should. Um, I, you know, a lot of people are like, what's working nowadays when it comes to going viral on TikTok? How do I go viral on Twitter? There is no one size fits all. So yep. my whole thing is guess and check, see what works for you, see what you enjoy making, see what your existing listeners or consumers like, and then see what your desired audience also wants. Yep, All right. Yep. Good. So we have technically already created an audiogram. This is good to go. If I wanted to download this right now and post it to social, Hi, I could. My name is Tim Viegas, and I hate long podcast trailers. But I'm going to jazz it up a little bit. I'm going to add some new things to it. First thing I want to do is take away this Descript logo, because as much as I love Descript and I work at Descript, this podcast is not a Descript podcast. It is Trailer Park, the podcast trailer podcast. So I'm going to show you how to bring in some elements from my podcast. I am going to share this tab instead. I'm going to go to uh, search for Trailer Park, the podcast trailer podcast. And I am going to just grab an image from Google. So this is the cover art for my podcast. And yes, I could have had this available on my desktop beforehand, but I wanted to show you the process of just doing it super quickly. So I'm just going to save this image as it's going to download on my computer. And then I'm going to come back to Descript. I'm going to share that tab and we're back over here. And now I'm going to bring in that image to my project. And the way I'm going to do that is to come up to this bar on the top over here. I'm going to hit media. I am going to add a file. And because I just downloaded this one, it should be available for me pretty quickly. And I'm just going to open it and bring it into my session. And what it's going to do automatically is add it as a layer. And then I can adjust it from there. So right now it's taking over the whole thing. But today I'm breaking. We don't want that because that takes away the captions. That takes away the waveform. That takes away everything. Instead, I'm going to treat it like a little logo. And I'm just going to resize it and put it up at the top over here. And then just to show you some cool things you can do, um, I personally don't love straight lines. I think it looks a little too boxy. So what I'm going to do is come over here to layout. And instead of having it be zero on this angular scale, I'm going to turn it into a uh, 40. Let's play around with 40 and see what that looks like. So what that does, it just rounds the corner. I like that. I think it love looks it. cute. And then what I can do now that I have this image in my, um, 
in my audiogram is I can use these colors to decorate the rest of my audiogram. I can make sure that it is not just going to be like my branded colors up here and then blue elsewhere. I don't want that. I want to make sure that it looks trailer park, the podcast trailer podcasty. So first thing I'm going to do is change my font colors. So I come over to, I click on the, the element that I want to change. And then I come over to the side over here and I see that it's blue and I don't want it to be blue. I want it to be, let's, let's go with maroon and I want to get the exact right color. So I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and I'm just going to bring that over here and select that color. All right. So now we've got maroon as my active word. Tim Viegas and I. And then Christiana, what stands out to you next? What's a quick fix? I would love to change that color of that waveform. Me too, brother. Me too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So all I have to do again is click on that element and then find where it exists over here and change it. So let's change it. Let's make it green. And again, I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and bring it over here and change it to green. And already it is so much more branded to my colors. Yep. But if I want to, I can also change the background image. And that is a fun thing to do. So right now you can see the background is white. But instead, I would like to make it the light pink that is represented here. So I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool again and hit that. And there we go. And you know what I'm going to do is get rid of this because this is more for my saving. This is more for my file storage. So I'm just going to get rid of that entirely. Move this up a little bit so that it, it looks a little bit more uh, centered within my document or within my project. And then let's see what that looks like. Hi, my name is Tim Viegas, and I hate long podcast trailers but great it could be good to go what is something that might make this stand out a little bit more hmm stand out a little bit more personally would you like my answer sure okay um i'm gonna add some music why not oh, love. right okay For so, i for forgot about music existing oh my gosh that's so sad for you <laughs> I'm just so focused on podcasting Lovely right now. You know? spoken word. <laughs> okay, so let's add some music. And what I can do is add music to the entirety of my audiogram. So I'm going to add a 14 second like sound bite or clip or, or something. And I can do that right within Descript. If I wanted to, I could pull in the music from my podcast if I had it somewhere available very quickly, like the theme music for my podcast. But I'm going to choose a different type of music because ultimately my goal here when I am creating this um, audiogram is to get people to stop the scroll and to enjoy this audiogram so that they might like the podcast so that they might go check out the rest of the episode. So I'm just going to look for some sort of fun music. So let's go up here again to this menu up at the top. I'm going to go to media. And instead of this time bringing in a file, I am going to go to the audio tab and I can then toggle between music and sound effects. Let's go with music and let's find something that fits the mood of what we're doing here, which is like kind of, uh, I don't know, groundbreaking. Tim is like, Same, I, like a hot take. Yeah, it's a hot take, right? So let's, let's search. I wonder if I search hot take, what will come up? Let's see. Um, let's see. You never know. Okay. Nothing because <laughs> hot take like, is not really a music genre. <laughs> you're like your slang is not welcome here. <laughs> what about um, suspense? Yep. I love that. Suspense could do. All right, so now what we can do is listen for a few seconds and decide what we want to insert into our video. Can you guys hear that? Oh, uh -huh. I love that. I feel like that's kind of perfect. Rarely do you find it on the first try, but let's go with cinematic, dramatic, documentary, action, suspense. So all the I have SEO, to do is click it. SEO and it's, power. <laughs> it's going to automatically insert that clip into the entirety of my, um, actually, let me redo that. So I need to, if I want to make sure that it is inserted into all of the 14 seconds of my audiogram, I need to make sure that I am at the beginning of my scene and you can see where the scene starts by the slash. So let's go up again and reinsert it. So it takes just a few moments to import the audio and make sure that it is going to extend throughout our audiogram there. And because we're on the web version, sometimes things are a little bit slower, but there we go. It is available to us. So now let's listen to it. Hi, my name Whoop. is Tim Viegas, and I hate long podcast trailers. I love it. However, one it's thing that stands loud. out to me, say it with me now, it's a little bit too loud. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's turn that down a little bit. If I want to turn that down, 
I come over here and I make sure that I'm clicked onto the, the right layer, the layer that I'm going for. And you can see here that the audio is at zero decibels. So I probably want to go into the negatives a little bit. Let's go to negative five and let's see what that sounds like. Hi, my name is Tim Viegas and I hate long podcast trailers. I feel but like something to call out here actually maybe even would be like ducking, right? Yes. Yes. We could definitely maybe do that. Maybe we can use ducking on the original file and show off. Uh... Yeah, we can definitely do that. All right. So Christiana, what is ducking? Um, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. So duck ducking is basically this, fu this is how I think of it. This is not a technical way to explain it, but it automatically will make the, the person talking like your original file, like, like the, the main event of the audio and it will take that music and turn it down so that it's not overpowering, um, overpowering what, what you're saying. So if you click on the file, the waveform of, of, um, Tim talking in your timeline. Where am I looking? I, I'm in it now. Yeah. Uh, I think you're on the script. Like if you go down into the, like if you were going to apply studio sound. I apply studio sound differently, actually. Would you like to oh. see how I apply studio sound? Sure. All I do is I just highlight everything and then I hit studio sound. Okay, cool. So go up to audio effects, hit audio effects. And um, I'm wondering if the, if it's not available now because we are on web. Is that possible, Marcella? I don't think that's it. I saw it before. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to uh, drop, bring you off track. Um, okay. <laughs> but yeah, basically, we might be able to play with. Let's play with ducking with maybe one of my other examples that I've got. Cool. 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 Yeah. I'll throw in a little uh, article on ducking too. Basically, cool. it's just like a hack. Yeah, it music. just makes it so that when you're speaking, the um, music goes, um, the music goes, uh, it goes down. And if you're not speaking, the music goes up. That's yeah. how we would be using it now. Yep. Jacob said, learned about the ducking feature about a month ago, and it changed my editing completely. Love. So much time saved. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. Okay. okay. Well, let's keep, let's keep moving. Marcelo, um, Marcelo is telling me, and please feel free to let me know. He's saying that 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 was the wrong way to apply studio sound. Um, feel free to, if you'd like Marcelo to jump on and tell me how to do it right. I'd love to be called out publicly. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, let me just take it right on Roast the Roast me. Roast me. <laughs> Roast me, but also because I don't want to be doing pseudoscience for the people. Well, we can also um, bring him up for Q&A and uh, he can show Get us. to it then. Yeah. Yeah. This is what you get with Descript. You know, we're very open. We're very honest. This is a an ever-changing piece of software. And so we need to be okay with the idea that we could be wrong sometimes. And I am very happy to be wrong. So Marcelo will either join us now, depending on where he's at with answering questions, or he can come up at the end and show us what to do. Oh, I see um, him. I'm bringing okay. him on. Lovely. Marcelo, welcome. Oh, okay. He's gone again. Hold Hi. On. Hello. Hey. Um, what's good? What I do? Uh, so <laughs> this is a really, really good time to check out the different types of clips that we have in the timeline. So what what Ariel is trying to do is apply studio sound to a clip or a group of clips, which is totally possible, except what we're selecting is stuff that is not just audio. So we can apply studio sound to audio clips or video clips with audio. But we saw in the timeline, Ariel selecting like waveform clips and text clips, and those things don't have sound. So we cannot apply studio sound to that. So by selecting everything, that is totally an option if everything has sound, but not everything here does. So studio sound might not be an option there. Same kind of thing goes with like visual effects. If you're trying to apply a video effect like green screen to something that does not have video, that's going to be bad. So yeah, that's all. Okay. So okay. what would I do if I wanted to apply studio sound just to the text right now? Just to your, like just your audio, just click the clip in the, in the timeline. So like the first, like the very bottom clip in the timeline, the one that's in your script track at the very bottom. Ah, uh, this one? No. Yep. One but not the one. word, like the actual, yeah. Do you know that I've never done that? I believe you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. So let's do that. There you go. Uh, how about ducking, Marcelo? Yeah, still ducking is not available for me for some reason. Yes, Dynamics, we are. Somebody said. Yeah, there it yeah. is. So now it's there. I got All you. Right, so let's do that. Usually I just uh, make computers fear me until they work. So ducking appeared when I came on screen. Love. Yeah. 
<laughs> ducks yeah. fear Marcelo. <laughs> Respectfully, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, we'll back okay. my whole life. Okay, right, so see you later. Thanks, Marcelo. See you in 20 minutes. Okay, so thank you, Marcelo. Thank you to me for being somebody who is down to be called out. I love it. Thank you We're to Christiana. We're going. It's there the best. Also, I just want to say ourselves out. I also, this is one of my favorite things about you is you're like brave to come on here and be like, let me just learn along with this amazing community. We're all doing it. We're all so doing it's it. Great. Also, yeah, me and Ariel work at Descript, but we're also learning all the time. We use it in our personal lives. So we're all in this together. Virtual Something route. I realized that's bothering me. Yes, pat ourselves on the back. <laughs> Something I realized that's bothering me is that this is like way too light. This green is making my eyes hurt. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker and then we're going to export this clip and be good to go. So cool. we've got, let's just make it this color. Okay, that looks so much better. Thoughts? Beautiful. Oh, thank God. Okay, so this is an audiogram and this is good to go. And if I want to download this so that I can upload it onto <clears throat> social media, all I need to do is go to publish over here and then export and then hit the export button and then it will be downloaded as an mp4 file because officially this is a video because it has moving elements amazing and just like that you have created a video element to your audio only podcast boom cool cool Done. i love it there's some good questions here that i kind of wanted it. to hit real quick let's hit them and then we'll we'll do some more explaining cool okay awesome so this is from yasmin um so if we don't want the image to be there the whole length of the video, so let's say that trailer park image that you yeah. put on, how do we shorten the time without having to drag crop on the timeline bar? Um, so that is a scenes question. I can um, share my screen again and show you just that. Yeah, so scenes are sort of like the core of video editing in Descript. Think of them as like slides um, on, a, on a presentation. So Ariel will just, I'll let you take it away. So all I've done here is by adding another slash right here. Trailers. But today. I added a slash between trailers and but today, which to me seems like a natural point in Tim's speech where we can maybe create a new scene. And you'll see because I inserted the, um, the image beforehand, it is going to be there until I get rid of it. But all I need to do to get rid of it in the second scene is to just delete it. So now it's going to look like this hate long podcast trailers but today gone beautiful do that with anything i could also decide that i want to get rid of the waveform i could decide that i don't want the background to be pink anymore let's go with green so let's see what that looks like viegas and i hate long podcast trailers but today it's a little bit abrupt and there are some things that you can do to make the yep. transition a little bit smoother but we won't get into all of that today but yes that's the that's the crux of it cool Cool, cool, cool. Um, inattentive ADHD Coalition, a name that I really love. love as Resonate with deeply. ADHD. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but <laughs> um, but they asked, instead of the eyedropper tool, can you enter a Pantone color number? Sure can. Yep. So a few ways to do that. Uh, and you, might have no you may have noticed them as we went through it. But if I wanted to change this... Um, this pink background, all I need to do is go over here and I have one memorized D, uh, D O C three O nine is purple. I think Never mind, It's black. It's not a red color. <laughs> <laughs> I do have some memorized, but yeah, um, Marcelo said no way you got that memed. <laughs> I really, <laughs> uh, no, it's D O C three E O please hold. It's going to be lavender. Ready? Woo! Yeah, you crushed it. Told you. You have a great memory. Thank you. Um, cool. So yeah, so, yes, I, you can. You can insert. I saw Look. a few questions about this being like, uh, can I keep my brand kit? Like, can I reuse stuff like this? So there's not like a saved thing for brand kits in the properties panel right now. It's a really great feature request. Um, like if anyone uses Canva, you can like save your logos and things like that on the side. Um, for now, the best way to do that is with templates. So like Ariel could save this whole thing as a template. Do you want to show that really quick? Yes, maybe? yes, I would love to. And please let me know if I do this right. Because again, I've, I've taught myself, but it might not be the exact right way. Cool. Um, so usually what I like to do is I uh, right click and I go save to template. And then I can create a new template. And there it is. It's perfect. You did a great job. She's a genius. 
<laughs> passed passed the <laughs> template test. Um, but yeah, so now this is saved in Ariel's gallery. So if next week when her next episode comes out, she can just slap that on there, um, which is great. And what I really want to call out is Ariel started with a Descript gallery template. You remember when we changed all that stuff and then she completely customized it with her podcast colors, her art, and then she can save that as a template. It doesn't mess up anything with the original template, but you customized it completely and did all of that stuff. And it's this is reminding me of that question we got. How do we make it stand out from the rest of the stuff? Well, it's Ariel's branding. It's her colors. She could change the font if she wanted to. She I could do. add a, a picture of Tim if she wanted a face on it. So it's completely customizable. Um, see, she just showed, showed the, changing the, the font. So Yeah, and therefore it, it, it just looks a little less descripty now because the yep. default font is also the one that we use for all of our descript templates. But yeah. Yep, yep. Um, and so Sparkling Life Coach asked can we save video templates too like for a bumper absolutely this is technically a video right you don't see like normally when we think of videos it's people talking um but this is a this is a video uh but say if this was actually a video of tim looking at the camera and talking you could save that as well which we can sure. actually show you in a moment yeah honestly i think we hit a lot of great questions here and we could jump right into that okay let's do it all right, so we've got I've got a few more options that we can play around with over here. Um, this is a video podcast called Daily Tips that may or may not help you. <laughs> we'll stay on the web and we'll do some editing. So these are the raw video files. And just to give you a sense of what that looks like and sounds like, here we go. Hello, Tippendales. It is Monday, April 15th, 2024. <laughs> this is Daily Tips that may or may not help you. I'm here with Ned Donovan. That's me and my co-host, Ned Donovan. We have a daily podcast called Daily Tips that may or may not help you. That was the episode from three days ago. And what I want to do, again, is think about um, what makes a good clip. What makes a good clip that we can post on social media? I don't want to post this whole thing because, again, it's really just the intro to the podcast. So let's continue a little bit and, and see what might be clippable. And Ned has a tip for us today about breakfast. It is all right, so the tip of the day is about breakfast. I want to find something within that that's going to be clickable, that's going to make you stop your scroll. So let's continue a little bit. All right, so here we go. If you're like me, sorry, Nature Valley, you've never been a huge fan because of the crumbly nature of this bar. Uh, <laughs> anytime you open the bag, crumbs go everywhere. Every time you bite it, crumbs go everywhere. It drives me a little crazy. All right, I like that. Same. I don't know if you're like me. Sorry, it's Nature relatable. Valley right? Relatable. We understand breakfast tips. Let's do it. <laughs> so let's make this into a videogram. And again, the way that I um, like to start making my videograms, audiograms is I copy them and I come up to the top. I enable multiple compositions, hit new composition. Boom. Yes, you can do it in like two clicks, but that took me about 0.7 seconds, which is quick enough for me. Yeah. So first thing I'm going to do is name it and I'm going to name it um, Nature Valley hate. Sorry, guys. Unless somebody here is from Nature Valley and they're an enterprise customer of ours, we love you so much. <laughs> ultimately, they are, um, ultimately, this is actually a tip about how to get the most out of your Nature Valley bar. If you listen to the whole episode, which you can by going to daily tips that may or may not help you with Ariel and Ned. Okay. So let's make this into something. First thing I like to do for a situation like this is it was too fast. Actually, let me go back and just show you how to do that again. Um, all right, so let's go back to um, my initial composition. I just highlighted what I wanted to make into my audiogram. And because I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna hit Command C, but if you're on a non-Mac, you could do um, Control C. And then I come up to the top over here. I, I've already enabled multiple compositions, and then I created a new composition and I just pasted my existing audio and video into that new composition and it takes everything with it and it's really great so yeah. something um that i do like to do generally in these situations is um i, I first want to brand things right like right now this background is not ideal it's black it's not super um, interesting looking. But another thing that I want to do is change the aspect ratio because right now it's formatted for um, LinkedIn, it's formatted for Facebook, but it is not formatted for vertical video, which is very popular nowadays. So let's first format it for um, vertical. 
And what I want to do there is come up to the top and you'll see this button where you can aspect ratio and video settings. You can adjust them. So I, I want to make it into a portrait and that does not look ideal to me. Christiana thoughts. I think we could use some rearranging. We could do better. We could do better. So first thing I'm going to do is put myself on top because um, that's where I like to be. And then we're going to put Ned over here. And we're a little bit too small. So all I'm going to do is drag us out a little bit, make us bigger. And if I had all the time in the world, I would make this extremely beautiful. But we're going to just make it sort of beautiful. Um, <laughs> but we just make ourselves bigger. Um, and if, if I want to, I can crop out my treadmill, which you see over here, which I never use. And <laughs> Tim's background is really nice. Um, so we'll leave that as is. And for now, we'll just leave everything as is. All right. So let's now change the background. But first, let's get our branding. So again, going to come over here. I'm going to search for my podcast. Like I said, I could have my logo available on my desktop to just drag it in, but I don't have it right now. So I'm just going to search for it. Daily tips that may or may not help you. Let's see if it comes up. Love that. Love SEO. All right. So let's save this as we'll come back to Descript. And now we're going to bring in that file that we just downloaded. So I'm going to come up to media. I'm going to add a file and it is available for me as a downloaded file that I can open and bring into my project. I will now add that as a layer, but I don't necessarily want that to take up the entire screen. So I'm going to resize and maybe put it in the center so that we've got the brand recognition of having it there. And now we can use the colors that are in my podcast cover art to change the background. So I like to hit this tab over here, grab my eyedropper tool, and let's go with purple for our background today. Great. Um, and now I'm going to add some captions, um, which will make this a more accessible video. And the way that I'm going to do that is come up to the T button in the center at the top over here. I'm going to hit captions. And it's going to default to a specific font, a specific color, and then we can make all the changes that we want. I'm going to move this to the bottom of our screen um, so that it's not taking up the center. Or if I wanted to, I could rearrange these elements entirely. Um, I don't love the um, highlighted color here. It's not on my brand. So I'm going to come down to the style section. I'm going to hit this color. And then I'm going to grab the eyedropper tool to grab the yellow. And just like that, we've got an audio. I don't know if, if you're like me. Sorry, Nature Valley. You've never been a huge fan because of the crumbly nature of this bar. <laughs> so that's ready to go. And this is ready to be uploaded to TikTok or to YouTube shorts or to Instagram um, reels. And we had some questions before about how to create different scenes. We could absolutely create a different scene here. Maybe we want to, um, for Nature Valley, maybe we want to put in the logo for Nature Valley. So I just created a scene around Nature Valley. And then I can go to Google. I can search Nature Valley logo. Great. Let's download that. Whoa. It's bringing back like school bus <laughs> memories. <laughs> Crumbly memories. Yep. 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 So I'm just going to bring that file in. And I'm going to add that as a new layer. And it is specifically going to show up right in this segment. So let's see what that looks like. I don't know if, if you're like me, sorry, Nature Valley, you've never been a huge fan because of the It just makes your nature. video a little bit more entertaining when you yep. add in some different elements. And again, mm -hmm. we can, of course, add some music and that will just continue to enhance the experience of this audiogram. Um, again, go up to the top menu over here, go to audio. I'm going to search for um, breakfast. Let's see what happens because that's not a genre. I have to stop thinking that ridiculous phrases are musical genres. Okay, let's go with um, let's go with uh, morning. Is that a musical genre? Rise at dawn. Okay, that gives me breakfast vibes. Great. So we'll upload that and most likely it will be a little bit too loud. And now we know what to do when something is a little bit too loud. Um, and yeah. here's a fun sort of trick that just happened. Um, because I was clicked onto this exact section of my script, the music is going to start there. But if I want to extend it throughout, I can come over here and I can just add it by dragging this, uh, this scene. 
And I, I actually want it to start at the beginning and then drag it at the end. And just like that, it extends throughout my entire presentation. So let's hear that. I don't know if, if you're like me, sorry, Adrian. way too loud. So we come to our layer and we check out the, the audio and we're going to make it negative 10. I don't know if, if you're like me, sorry, Nature Valley, you've never been a huge fan because of the crumb. Done. Thoughts, Christiana, questions? Um, well, I'm just keeping an eye on the time here. Yes. And in our agenda, we did promise to show how to make this go faster with AI. So I'm wondering if we go if back, want. yeah, to your original and use Find Good Clips. Let's do it. So Descript has a pretty robust AI situation going on. And um, we made it really easy for you to check out all that AI has to offer. We've got this actions bar up at the top. And then within that, we've got ask AI. So it gives you a few suggestions of the things that you can do with Descript's AI. And one of those things is to, uh, you know, you can remove retakes, which is if I say the same line over and over again, and I want, the, I want only one of them, I can do that. I can edit a script for clarity. It'll obviously give its own opinion and you're gonna wanna test that out. Um, I can add chapters or markers based on AI, based on its reading through. Um, I can remove filler words that's been around for a while. I can shorten word gaps that's also been around for a while. And I love this one. If you've got long a long video, it'll um, separate the scenes by who is speaking in that scene. It's really great. Um, but today what I want to do is actually find good clips. So I just have to start typing in what I want and I'm going to ask it to find good clips. It defaults to this, find five options for clips. I can pull from the script. Each clip should be around 30 seconds long. So let's just have it do that. It's gonna think for a few moments. So we will do our best to um, vamp. We'll, we'll banter a little bit as that happens. <laughs> um, once it's finished, it's essentially going to highlight them. So it, it has done that already. So let's um, let's select them in the script. And what it does by, what it does when I press that is it's going to highlight five 30 second clips within my script. I'm gonna tell it that this AI action was helpful. And then I'm gonna kind of vet them. I wanna make sure that these are good clips that I can then use to make audiograms from. So let's go here. Nola. So take your Nature Valley bar, crush it up. Sorry about that. Please hold. No worries. Come back over here. Ask AI, find good clips. I accidentally X out of it, which is why um, it's not continuing to stay highlighted. So we'll have it think again. And the interesting thing here is that um, I think it's giving us the exact same ones. So let's select those in the script. And it gives me the option to do a few different things here. Um, I can duplicate them to a new composition so that it creates a new composition for me. And then I can make my edits based on that new composition. So it has Super now created cool. for me a bunch of them. Is this them? Oh, it looks like it only got one. And that is why uh, we test these things live. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, one thing I'll say about these things. So we first started releasing AI actions. I guess it was about three months ago now and we're continuing continually approving them so keep trying them They're, they get upgraded like every time we put out a release find good clips has gotten a lot better if something wonky happens just try it again and it'll normally it'll normally do it right the second time um and you're yeah. you know you're along you're in this journey with us and i want to empower you to be part of this journey so if you find something if you see something say something basically tell marcello <laughs> he wants to know what was wrong um, yes, you know, we're all trying to figure out AI together and we're all trying to help it help us. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Well, I'm checking the clock here. We've got about five, um, Q &A? five minutes left. Yeah. Let's hit some questions. Um, folks, and I'll so keep this up so that we can potentially use it as a demo if we need. Super cool. Yes. Sounds great. Um, Marcelo, if you are interested in joining us, you can come on up. Yeah, okay. Bringing them back up. Boom. Okay, someone I'm died. clicking the button. Oh, we're both clicking the button. Hello. We're both like bring yeah. them up. What's good? Um okay, cool. Well, let's let's answer some questions here. Um folks, throw your questions in the chat. Um if 
if you've got any lingering things here. Um, first thing I want to ask that I'm seeing a lot of, we've talked about stock media, right? We brought in some music. What is the deal with the stock media stuff? Some folks are like, am I going to get flagged on YouTube? Marcelo, like, what's the 411 on that? Yeah, super solid question and very valid to avoid copyright strikes. So um, with Descript, uh, with your Descript plan, either the free uh, creator or pro plans, uh, you're given a certain allotment of stock media. We partner with another company uh, to gain that stock media. So somewhere like Giphy or some of these other like stock sources, we have a bunch of in like a bunch of content, whether it's video, audio, sound effects, like we saw today. Um, that is is all technically under like ownership that you should be able to publish. There are some times where like a video will get flagged when you use stock media and we have a very easy like flow to get that corrected. So we partner directly with a company that like owns this media uh, that can remove that flag. So if in the off chance that you do get flagged um, for that stock media when you publish, feel free to reach out to our support team. But in general, all the stock media should be covered in, in your subscription or like in your usage of Descript. Can I ask a clarifying question? Oh yeah. Not about that, but um, okay. Studio Chico says Descript will next week's show it will next week's session show how to repurpose a video that is full frame. Um, stacking the two videos is kind of obvious from horizontal to vertical. So let us know what you mean by that because we can definitely create um, sessions, sure. learning sessions based on what you need. Um, but if I wanted to, you know, yes, I changed the aspect ratio over here, um, but I could keep it as is and create audiograms just like that as well. For sure. Yeah. Next week. So they're asking about, I sent a link for next week's event, which is on repurposing. It's like kind of mark, like the audience is kind of marketers, but it would be uh, applicable to anyone, honestly, who's repurposing. And we're going to basically do A to Z repurposing. This was on like focusing on social clips. So yeah, I think, I think you'll find um, something useful there. Um, I want to hit on another question that, that came up. Um, folks were like, how is it that you're able to, that these are two separate files, like Ariel and Ned, you're able to move those all around. Um, can you talk about like multi-track recording really quick? And like someone asked, like, can you do that in zoom? Can you just give the background on that? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, we acquired Squadcast. Squadcast is like a video conferencing remote recording tool. Um, but yeah, like uh, Ariel, I don't know if you recorded this specifically in Squadcast, but the reason we were able to do such granular edits and movements and like ad like adjustments in the framing of this video is because we have individual files per speaker. I think it's super important for people to understand that like when you are doing any editing, it is vital for everyone to have their own feed so that you can have this ability to move things around. Uh, someone, I saw someone was asking about Zoom. I'm not sure like if they have changed. I know Zoom like just did an update this past week. So I don't know if this is like a new feature, but I know in the past, a majority of the time, if you're recording with Zoom, everyone, including a screen share or anyone that's on screen is all in one file rather than having an individual file. So in the past, uh, you wouldn't have been able to do something like this. Again, I'm, I'm not sure if I haven't checked with Zoom's update or anything like that. But again, with tools like Squadcast or even Descript, you can record each person on an individual file so that you have the ability to edit. We can move people around. Ariel can go full screen or tiny or whatever, but we have the ability now that everyone is on their own file to adjust this as we see fit. Again, this is like best practice for video recording, audio recording. Everyone should be on their own file, their own track, their own recording, whatever it is. Awesome. Yes. And yes, this was recorded on Squadcast. I live yeah. in Squadcast. Squadcast is cool, dude. <laughs> Ariel's address is like 500 Squadcast the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> um, amazing. Okay, let me just look here. Um, someone asked question was really hoping you could speak to extracting an image from the clip and using it as a thumbnail. So that's not something like we have a built workflow around in Descript. Um, but you can does, do you, either of you want to talk about like how best to do that? Yeah. I, I, if I understand correctly, the idea there would be, um, oh, using a thumbnail for YouTube, Steve. Yeah. Like making know? a, making a thumbnail, I think. In yeah. I mean, for something like that, I would recommend Canva. Canva yeah. has a lot of incredible templates for, um, for YouTube specifically. We did a session with Katie Hearn Church, who is a Canva expert a few months ago. Uh, that's on our YouTube channel. We talk about how to use Descript and Canva sim hand in hand. It's a really, really great event. Highly recommend checking that out for all of your YouTube needs. Uh, sorry, for all of your branding needs. And we also talk about how to brand a podcast, how to brand a YouTube channel. 
awesome. Um, one one thing on that too, like if you if you do need to make uh, like if you don't have access to any other tools, you, we have some like light thumbnailing um, in Descript. It is just like a freeze frame of a single frame in your video. It is not a Mr. Beast style explosion. Oh my God, face kind of vibe. Yeah. It is just a freeze frame. You could uh, always you know screen cap that thing, bring it yeah. over to Canva. Sorry, yeah, bring it over to Canva and then um, and then add the Mr. Beast style. Oh yeah, my yeah. God, type stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the I locked my friends in a yes. room for 400 days right i gave out a billion gajillion dollars i buried my friends alive <laughs> <laughs> we made Atlantis. oh god okay I'm not um there. okay we are at time um i'm seeing a lot of amazing questions do you do a live event for this do you do a live event for that we the do. answer is yes if you go to our youtube channel under the live tab so we host sessions like this every single week on Squadcast, Descript 101, AI stuff, social clips, obviously. If you can think of it, there's probably an event for it. If you don't see it, send me an email and we'll set it up. Or hit Christiana, us up on Discord. Perfect plug. Join the Discord. I pinned the link in the chat, but it's also up there if you want to scan it. Um, we put all of our events are listed in there. People are in there helping each other out. Uh, Marcelo and his team, some of our amazing support folks are are answering questions in the Discord. So jump in there. Um, we also yeah. love to see how many people come from our events and say hi that they just came from this event. So if you join our Discord right now in the introductions channel, just say hi, just came from your event. That's good for us, but also for our bosses to see. <laughs> if you want us to look good to our bosses. <laughs> and i know you guys do um but yeah this this was super fun ariel thank you for this amazing demo marcelo thank you for holding it down in the chat and joining thank us you, for Christiana. Q &A. Thank it's you. a pleasure i love being here uh one last thing before everybody goes if you're new or you're on the free plan scan that qr code get your free Descript pro um we want you to be able to use everything we showed off today also who doesn't like free stuff who doesn't? Oh, blocking Marcelo. There we go. Um, but yeah, thanks for being such a supportive and awesome uh, crowd today. This was super fun. Um, and hopefully to see you next week or the week after or whenever for a future event. Um, have an amazing day, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. See ya.